But there's also an ur uh, an urban legend about this bridge. It says that if a virgin crosses it, the dragon will waggle its, its tail, you know? But nobody has ever seen the dragon wa waggling the tail, so we don't know if the legend is false or if just there are no virgins. Yeah, it's stupid. Legend. and sit down. The best place where to meet with local people and foreign people? The market. <laughs> yeah, because Slovenians uh, traditionally are a country of many farmers. So if you want to understand the flavors and colors and uh, smells of... And the culture. Yes, yeah, the culture of, of Ljubljana, you should not miss the market, the central market, which happens Monday to Saturday here at one of the main squares. Yeah, and uh, to get you some idea about the typical food of Slovenia, they love their cabbage. Yeah. So they have uh, this cabbage with salt and vin vinegar, similar to kimchi in South Korea. And they eat a lot of sausage and potatoes. So you can just ask people around here and they will tell you what's, uh, what local people like to eat. And you try some bits. On the surroundings as well, you have some small stalls and kiosks selling food. So this is the perfect place to come for lunchtime, I would yeah. say, you know? Because then you can yeah. try some different stuff. And Definitely. It used to be a place where uh, people from outside Ljubljana uh, used to meet. So they come here for like, you know, get around the square, sit around, grab something to eat and meet people from like the village surrounding. And today the market still exists and it's a lovely place to visit. Apparently the mayor of Ljubljana comes here a lot on Saturday. So you might find him if you come here during this day. Yay! Oh, also, you won't have any problems of being ripped off by sellers. The market offers a public scale, just to be sure. What I loved about Ljubljana is how they have uh, these water fountains everywhere for you to refresh yourself during a walking day. And this here is the main cathedral of Ljubljana, which has a very interesting thing because its door tells the story of the country. Yeah, so uh, come to here to the Duomo or the main cathedral. Uh, it's very nice to pay attention to the door. And you see all the details and you see it looks old, but it's actually very new. You know, you can see there's actually, actually uh, John, po uh, John Paul II. Uh, the, Pope, yeah. the Pope from Poland, which has a Slav descendants, you know, there's Slav culture here, so Slav they, people. They were very proud of that and they made a tribute to, to the Pope. And so you can see in the middle there, that, yeah. yeah, John Paul II, and also a bit of history of uh, Ljubljana there, like um, being baptized by Irish monks just before the Crusades. So when the Crusades came here, they didn't have to force anybody to Christianity, they already had the Christianity by the Irish monks, which is an interesting fact. So all in the door. And not as windy too, because I'm sure you didn't understand anything Fernanda said, so I repeat. For the best sunset, you have to come to the castle. And hopefully, it won't be as cloud as it is today. The castle was originally a medieval fortress, then enlarged to be a castle. An earthquake a long time ago destroyed great parts of it, but it was then reconstructed. For this reason, its architectural style is quite a mix. It is free to go up there, but you do pay to climb up the watchtower and to go in St. George's Chapel. We heard from a local guide that the view from one of the windows is just as great. And to be honest, we didn't feel the need to anything greater than that. Also inside the castle there are many galleries, and you can see a bit of the history of the castle and its architecture was developed throughout the time. What we loved the most about Ljubljana is how life is the city. Uh, and you can see all of that on its river, Ljubljanska. 
all around the, the river there it's full of bars and restaurants and it's always full of people everyone it seems to be happy having a good time it's a city we're gonna miss for sure like um, it's very interesting it's different from anything we have seen because it's small and it's charming and it's still it has so much to offer like culturally uh, entertainmentally everything so we love Ljubljana it was a nice surprise during this trip yeah we really wanted to come back and perhaps even stay if it's possible because it's a lovely town you know just a few uh, tips for you before coming here. Uh, bicycle is the best trip to explore the city. Especially like, everybody on bikes. Remind you that the, you have to have the lights and you cannot drink and drive. They're gonna get your license if you have one. If you take care to drink and drive on your bicycle, you've lost your driving license even for your car. So we hope you like it as well to walk around Ljubljana with us. As and, much as we did. And see you next time. Now, we are heading to the most iconic site of Slovenia, the Lake Bled. We were super excited and we didn't know if we could make it in one go or if we would have to sleep on the way. We didn't really plan anything. Nevertheless, the day didn't really start too well. There it is Tiago. He's a bit upset today. I mean, we are both upset but he's more because we... he broke our external memory today with everything we had. We do have a backup, but still, uh, we had just bought the, the external memory. We are leaving Ljubljana, quite sad. My heart, I think I left behind. Um, now we are on the outskirts of the city already, crossing a little river, beautiful as everything else in Slovenia. Seriously, this country is amazing. 13! 14! 14! 14! 16! 16! Faster, 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 faster! We have just arrived in Krani and it was about 6 pm. Just as we had thought, we didn't make it to Bled in one go and decided to find a place to sleep around this cute city. After managing to camp in the city center of Concordia in Italy, we were a bit relaxed. But in here, we couldn't find anywhere to put the tent and we began to worry. But you know, every cloud has a silver lining and we found the best place ever to put the tent. Besides beautiful, calm and apparently safe, we had the awesome river with its magnificent color just for ourselves. And a place for a fire at night. <laughs> 